In his 2007-2008 state budget, California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger is proposing a research and innovation initiative that funds a number of University of California research projects, including green technology initiatives. And to make sure that California continues to lead in innovation and technology, we are investing another $90 million in our UC system for new research in, nan in nanotechnology and alternative fuels. This includes $30 million to fund the Helios Project, a groundbreaking initiative by UC's Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. Named after the Greek god of the sun, Helios seeks to convert solar energy into sustainable, carbon-neutral sources of energy. Jay Keesling, the lab's physical biosciences director, is co-leader of the Helios project proposal. His work with synthetic biology, which puts engineering to biology to create new biological systems or redesign new ones, will be an integral part of the Helios project. We'll be able to engineer plants, for instance, that will produce our fuels or that will produce a more readily available feedstock for our fuels, plants that don't need fertilizer or as much water as what we now give them so that we can less expensively produce our, our fuels. Once we've set these standards for synthetic biology and we understand how to put components together in a very reliable way, much as you can assemble components to build a computer right now, once we have this for biology, it means that we might be able to produce fuels using biology that will actually be economically viable and compete strongly with petroleum. The governor's research and innovation initiative will also support UC if it wins a global competition to develop alternative fuels, a bid to build a new supercomputer, and provide operating funds for the California Institutes for Science and Innovation. Science Today is produced by the University of California, Office of the President, and is aired nationally on the CBS Radio Network. For more information about the program, visit our website at www.ucop.edu slash science today.